everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn and welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. Here we go, this is real life, this is what's happening. We're gonna do a quick, easy, cheap, fast and in a hurry meal. Do you have a weeknight that you're just like, eh? So, you know, Monday nights to me, Mondays are probably my worst days at work. Today was a perfect example. It was a long day so long that I wasn't able to, able to take a break and really have any kind of lunch. A cup of popcorn is what we had. So right now I need to get a meal on the table that's somewhat nutritional and healthy, quick and easy to make, cheap, you know, all the, thing, all the, all the boxes that you wanna check. So here's what we're gonna do. I made this meal probably two weeks ago and I sort of, threw it together and it was one of those what's in your pantry what can you pull together and I had some shelf stable tortellini from Aldi let me give that a thumbs up it was so good they were excellent I will it'll definitely be on the list to buy again that spinach and tomatoes garlic powder garlic a little salt and a tomato based bouillon I guess you'd say outstanding it was like one of those things where your lips are puckering it was so delicious so tonight i have angel hair pasta this is my husband's favorite so we're going to do the same dish with angel hair pasta so we're going to put in some pasta and then what i did is i took some tomatoes now these are the roasted they're in a bowl but as we're talking i'm going to show you some pictures i just took the tomatoes and i got a container and they were like 238 for the container and by the way, this is 98 cents at Walmart, $1.25 at Dollar Tree, so about a dollar. So we're talking about five, six dollars for a meal. This would definitely do a family of four. Is that as cheap as you can get? I don't know that you can get much cheaper these days. And healthy. Now you can go cheap and add, you know, two, well, yeah, let's talk about it. So a little commercial break here. You could take the pasta, you can add olive oil and garlic and salt and pepper and throw in a can of green beans, a can of corn, a can of beans, a can of chickpeas, and you can have a meal for like $1.50, $2 for a family of four. Add chickpeas, nice source of protein with a little olive oil and garlic. You've got a decent meal. Put a little Parmesan cheese on it or a can of veggies. If you're on a really, really tight budget, you can go for about $1.50, $2. That's, you're looking at 50 cents per person. You're not going to get much cheaper than that. We're going on the more healthier side. I'm using fresh spinach and fresh tomatoes with all the um, extra spices and all that. So we're going more like five to $6, depending on where you shop. Even at that price, you can't get a burger anywhere for five or $6. So I took the tomatoes, as you can see, there we go. And I turned them into this. I took the tomatoes I just slice them in half. I find they do better when you slice them in half than when you leave them whole. And I just put them in a bowl. I did a little splash of olive oil, a little pink Himalayan sea, uh, sea salt, and then a little garlic powder. And then I added, let me show you what we got here. I used the garlic powder. Now these are, this one's from Dollar General. I had the salt. I have a Dollar Tree, has little holes on the top, this thing, little mason jars, and it looks so cute, so tiny. But I sprinkle that with my salt, and I did the olive oil. I have this container here. I have this, I got this at TJ Maxx. I love the splash with that. Then we put in, I think this one is from Aldi's. It's the minced garlic in olive oil. It's easy, I don't need to buy the garlic. There you go. So I came home from work, and I said to my husband, I'm kind of, tired and cranky. I worked a long day and I'm hungry. I think you call it hangry when you're hungry and you're cranky and you know, you got that, you got to eat. I said, I need something quick and easy. What's taking the longest to make this is the video. You got to do it in steps. Otherwise this is probably 12 minutes on the table. You need a meal like that. Here we go. So you take your tomatoes, you slice them up. You put, I put mine, I have a unique round air fryer where the lid comes down and I'll show you pictures as we're talking along the way here. And that air fryer, I cooked them up. You can see them, oh, let's listen to them sizzle for a moment. Oh, 
Okay, did you hear that sizzle? Yeah. The garlic is just going through the house. So there you go. This is, we've got our roasted tomatoes, our angel hair pasta, some garlic salt, garlic powder, olive oil, spinach. And we could, and we might, because as you saw in my refrigerator clean out, I have a little extra Parmesan. So I think we're gonna sprinkle that on top. So I'm gonna bring you back once the pasta is made and then I'll show you how I throw it together and then we'll plate it up. So first thing I'm gonna do, I heated up my frying pan. You don't have to use an electric skillet. This is my personal preference. I use this thing probably daily. I love it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So put as much olive oil as you want. This is what I'm going to start with. Then I'm taking a bag of thoroughly washed spinach. There you go. You can actually microwave right in there. And that's what I'm taking. I'm opening up the bag. And yes, I am using the entire bag. Now this probably looks like a lot, but it will wilt down. Can you hear that sizzle? It'll wilt down and you won't even have half of this left. I'm not putting any salt in it. I want to wait because I did salt the tomatoes and I am going to put the tomato uh, bouillon in there and I don't want it too salty. So we're going to start with this. We're going to let this wilt down just like this. And let me get the lid. We'll put the lid on there. We're just going to let this start to cook down while I make the pasta and then I'm going to bring it back. Okay, you can see this has been about three minutes and look at this uh, spinach. It's like wilted all the way down. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit, just like this. And we're just gonna, you know, mix it up. Look what I said, right? There's hardly anything left here. There you go. I'm gonna turn this down up to maybe like 325. And there you go. There's olive oil already in that. I'm going to sprinkle that with a little garlic powder just to give it a little extra flavor. I'm going to put in a little bit of garlic. Now you have to do what is good for you. So there you go. I did maybe half a teaspoon, but you can always add more, but you can't take it out. So, you know, I already have garlic in the tomatoes. So there we go, the spinach is in there. Now let's add these delicious, delicious, delicious tomatoes. Dump that right in there. My pasta takes six, five to six minutes. We have two minutes left. So now we've got, look how delicious. Does this not look like a nice, delicious, healthy meal that we can have together? Now, what I'm going to do next is just let this simmer like this. I'm going to add to this the pasta once it's cooked. We're going to add it right into the pot. And then I'm going to take, this is what I, I've been using. And this is a tomato bouillon. I got it and I was like, am I ever going to use it? I've seen other people use it. Well, I used it in my rice. Let me tell you, it takes your rice from a, maybe a three or a four on the scale to about a 22. My son, who is Mr. Picky, doesn't like much, asked me to make tomato rice all the time. I use this in the rice cooker and I probably use about two tablespoons with a pot of rice in the rice cooker. It's delicious. And I just put probably maybe one and a half tablespoons, yes, a mug for my son's church. This is how we do it, real life in the kitchen. Get a mug, filled it with water, added the tomato, stirred it up. We're going to add that on top of our pasta. And I'm going to just gradually put it in to see how much I want. We're going to dish it up. We're going to put on some Parmesan cheese. We're going to sit and devour this with a side salad. So hang on, we're going to add the pasta next. Okay, here we go. So we're going to just give this one more quick stir. This is cooked down very, very nicely. Tomatoes, spinach, garlic. You can't get much healthier than this. To this, you could also add chickpeas. You could add another vegetable. You could add some zucchini. You could add whatever, mushrooms. You could go crazy. So I cooked up a lot of pasta because my son wants to do his own thing with his pasta and not have the healthy side of it like we do. I'm, I'm making an absolute mess here. Here we go. Let's get this in here. 
and I'm going to see how much we want to put in here. Okay, here you have it. So the pasta is now in here. We're going to just fold in the spinach and the tomatoes. And to this, I'm going to add, I want to give it a quick stir, as I call it, a zhuzh. You want to know what a zhuzh is? This is a zhuzh right here. And I'm going to pour this in. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, I'm going to leave it for that. And now, when I put that aside, let's see what we think. I'm going to fold in this tomato and spinach. And you've got just a nice light flavoring of the tomato. Nothing heavy, nothing like that. I'm going to add a little extra olive oil. Olive oil is good for you, and it gives it some excellent flavor. You can season this with salt and pepper if you want. I am not putting any more salt in this. I want to taste it as is and see what we think, but I think I will add a tad of pepper. I'm going to get my pepper out, give it a little sprinkle of pepper. Even some red pepper flakes, that is something I probably will add to mine separately. My husband's, uh, he might like that too, but I think that's something like maybe we'll add separately so we can just do the amount that we want. There you go, guys. Look at that. That could be on your table in 12 minutes. So let's plate this up and see how it turned out. Bon appetit, everyone. Listen, next time, remind me to invite you to dinner. I keep forgetting. I do these videos and I forget to send out the invitation first. So there you go. We're going to try a little bit of this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Mm. Oh my. Well, there's enough in there for me, Graham and Gavin. But the way this tastes, I don't know if they're going to get any. The tomatoes are bursting with flavor. Oh, the garlic just hits your tongue. The pasta is tender. The spinach, you can taste it. The little bit of cheese on top. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of red pepper flakes doesn't need anything. Save me some. No, no. I, yeah, Graham comes in the kitchen because he can smell this. Let me tell you, you want a healthy, cheap, quick, and easy meal. Get this. Use angel hair pasta five minutes. Bag of spinach, raw fresh spinach, some tomatoes. Roast them up with a little olive oil. You could do that in the frying pan. You don't have to use your air fryer. Throw it together. <coughs> Add some cheese on top. If you have cheese, if you're non-dairy, get a vegan cheese or just don't add cheese. The garlic, the salt, the pepper, they marry each other. A oh, little bit of red pepper, pepper flakes. It doesn't get any better than this. Quick, easy, midweek meal on the table in 12 minutes or less for about $5 to feed a family of four. At this point, there's probably enough for me and Graham to do dinner lunch tomorrow and we could probably throw gavin in the mix if he really wanted to with healthy portions we're going to put a side salad i have a caesar salad kit you saw that in my drawer in the refrigerator we're going to add this to the mix stay tuned for some more videos give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this quick and easy meal don't forget to subscribe and be part of the family i've enjoyed meeting each and every one of you thanks so much for coming over tonight we'll catch you all on the next video